Well, hi everybody, Mindy here. And I thought I'd do another update for you while I had a few minutes that I didn't have anything else to do. Today is Wednesday. It is February 27th and it is 8.34 p.m. So the trading day today that we are in is actually the trading day for Thursday, right? And it just started about four hours ago. So we are four hours into today's trading day. Now, those of you who have not seen any of my videos, you might wonder what we're looking at. This is a demo trial of an EA that I developed for MetaTrader 4, okay? And this EA is an auto trading EA, which means it selects the trades that it wants to take, it manages the trades, and it closes the trades. Now the unique thing about the CA is that it closes every trade it takes for a profitable outcome. Every one. Okay? And I know that sounds kind of crazy because this is Forex and most of you have never known anything about Forex other than use your stop losses <laughs> right that's that's what everybody says about forex but i've been trading forex for 20 years and i developed a trading strategy 20 years ago that has allowed me to trade essentially without losses in my forex account and so what i did with the ca is i programmed it to mimic the trading that i do manually Okay, so this first box that we're looking at right here, this is an account that is running the EA that I developed, which I named the Magic EA. It's running on a 15 minute chart and it's running 14 currency pairs. It's trading all of the USD pairs and all of the JPY pairs. It started trading on January 7th and so far, <laughs> you know, so good. Um, it started with a balance of $10,000. The balance is currently 12674 And so we're in the seventh week of trading now. The equity balance is 11729 which means if you wanted to just close the account right this minute and walk away, you'd be walking away with 1730 well now 1725 <laughs> 27 28 dollars of profit okay you can see that the equity balance changes moment by moment that's because the equity balance is what feeds your free margin or usable margin and this is the money in the account that is being used to manage the trades right right now we have a negative pl in our positions of negative 947 dollars and that looks pretty scary doesn't it but the thing about negative pl it's temporary because when the trades are going the wrong direction the negative pl can add up pretty fast in forex but when the market turns around and goes the other direction in these pairs, what will happen is the negative PL will go down dramatically and very rapidly. Okay, so for right now, the negative PL is about $947. Now the last update that I did was a couple of days ago. And at that time, the negative PL was also right here in the same range it really has not changed much from where it was two days ago but during the course of the last two days we've closed a lot of positions now this screen shows us the account history and right now i have this set to show us all of the closed positions 
for this trading week so far. So I clicked on the date of February 24th, which was Sunday, and to today's date, and I clicked OK. So this is how many closed positions the EA has made. You can see that there's a fairly long list, but the total profit that has been booked so far this week is $199. So even though the negative PL really hasn't deviated much this week, we have now 199 more dollars in the free margin and the equity balance than we had on Sunday, right? So anyway, <laughs> it really is not a concern when you have a negative balance in your account because like I said, it's temporary. There are only two ways to lose money at Forex. The first way is if you close trades for a negative amount, because if you do that by utilizing stop losses and things like that, you just lost that money. It's gone, right? But if you use a trading strategy that allows you to hedge your positions, you can stop the bleeding, essentially, from any trade that's going the wrong way anytime you want to by hedging it right and then if you know how to manage the hedges there's never a reason ever to close a forex trade for a loss i haven't done it in 20 years and you can trade this way too so if you want more information i'll talk about how you can learn how to do this when i'm finished with this video okay so Anyway, the status here on this account is that in the last seven weeks, the account is up in equity balance $1,726. If we wait for all these trades to close, the account would be up in equity balance at that time, 2674 And that's assuming all these trades will close at zero, but they won't. They'll all make some profit. So anyway, that's the first account. This second account is an account that also started trading on January 7th, but it's trading a different time frame. It's still trading the Magic EA, but it's trading a 30-minute time frame instead of a 15-minute time frame. It's also trading all 28 pairs from this list over here on the right. Okay, so it's trading more pairs, but it's also trading different time frame. And so this account currently is up in balance $5,054 from where it began. It began at $10,000. The equity balance is up $4,000 right now. Okay, and this again is in seven weeks of trading. The Negative PL at the moment is negative $1,055, right? Now this is actually higher than the negative PL was running a couple of days ago in this account. But the thing about negative PL, it goes up and down. So the number gets more negative sometimes. And then when a lot of these trades start clearing off the board, the negative PL will drop again. Uh, let's go see how it's done so far this week. Now, so far this week, I'll just do the custom period so that you can see that I'm not lying to you. We'll take it back to Sunday and click OK. So, so far this week, it has also a long list of trades that have closed and the total is $467.87. So that's how much booked profit this account has made so far this week. Okay. And then when we go back to the trade tab, I think a few days ago, the negative PL on this account was about 700 or $800, something like that. So the negative PL has gone up, but it has not gone up as much as the booked profit that we've booked so far this week. So all in all, 
the account still has a better equity balance today than it had on Sunday, right? But here again, the equity balance moves up and down as money in your usable margin is being used to manage the trades, okay? So this third account is also trading the 30-minute time frames. It's also trading all 28 pairs, but I just started this account about two and a half weeks ago, okay? And so this account has a negative PL at the moment of $425, okay? But what I want to show you about this account is when you look at the dates of when the trades that are currently open entered, we can see that every single trade that is currently open opened on February 27th or February 28th. Well, today is February 27th, right? But in MetaTrader time, these last two trades that already say February 28th, that means that these two trades opened since 4 p.m. So they've opened in the last four hours. So they're carrying the date for Thursday's trading day. But what this means, when we see the date here that all of the open positions have opened on February 27th, or later, what that means is every trade that has been opened in this account since it started trading has closed profitably, with the exception of these trades that opened within the last 24 hours, right? So the, I'm really proud of this account. It's not leaving anything behind. It's really keeping up and closing most of the trades right away, okay? Now, when we go to the account history, and again, I'll show you that this is the account history for this week. So we'll take the calendar back to Sunday and click OK. What we see is that so far this trading week, this account has close $256. Not quite as long of a list, as what we had with the other two accounts. But that's okay, right? Because every single situation closes for a profitable outcome. That's why with this EA, you may see the equity balance moving up and down, but the balance number will never decrease. It will only go up. Because to have the balance number decrease we would have to actually close positions for losses, okay? So if you would like for your trading account to have a balance that never goes anywhere but up, <laughs> you might want to talk to me, right? If you'd like to talk to me, just come to my website. It's www.mindyyost.com and I am always willing to talk to people via email or sometimes over the phone if that's necessary. But my email address is right up here at the top of my website. It's mindyyost at kc.rr.com. And you can shoot me an email and ask me anything you want about Forex or about the Magic EA or about trading with a foreign broker where you can trade and utilize high leverage up to 500 to 1 and hedging, which means you can carry both buy and sell trades in your account at the same time and not have to put up with the FIFO, the first in, first out rules. Okay, so for people who trade in the United States, I can show you things that can literally change the game for you when it comes to your Forex trading. Okay, so if you would like to try an account with a foreign broker where you can trade with the high leverage and hedging the same way I do, come to my website and come right down here where you see this link 
to open a free demo account with a broker called Coinex. Okay, just click on this link from my website and the process of opening a demo account takes two minutes and you're under no obligation to open a live account or fund a live account unless you want to. And I would suggest that everyone trade with a demo account first, <laughs> you know, even if you're an experienced trader. Any time you start trading with a different broker, you should always trade on a demo account for a couple of weeks before you even consider trading on a live account. And that's because the, the trading conditions can be much different from one broker to another, right? The spreads can be different. The commissions can be different. You know, things like that. So it's just always important to trade with a demo account first. Anytime you're trading with a new EA or with a new broker or anything like that, right? You can never make a mistake by being careful trading on demo accounts to make sure that you understand the trading strategy you're using or the EA that you're using or just understand the broker and the trading conditions that they offer. All of those things are important. So anyway, come to my website if you'd like more information about the Magic EA. You can click on the Shop Now button and you can actually buy a license for the Magic EA to run on a demo account for a couple of months for $25. So that's a really inexpensive way to see if you would like to use the Magic EA on a live account. Okay, so anyway, that's my website and that's how you find out more information about the Magic EA and about trading with a foreign broker. And then if you'd like more information about my mentoring programs or anything like that, I've got lots of information on my website about uh, workshops that I offer and seminars and classes and mentoring and things like that. So anyway, thanks for listening. And that's my update on the Magic EA for today. And I'll probably do another update Oh, sometime, maybe Friday, maybe Friday morning or Friday afternoon, so that you can see how the Magic EA ended the week, okay? So thanks for listening. I'll talk to you soon. Happy trading, everybody. Bye for now.